now we have collected all the stuff we need, we can start making our worm farm. Um, there's compost in here, fertilizer, um, blood and bone, um, our worms, <laughs> and sand, and the veggies, broken veggies, and the oats. So, for, and our um, newspaper. So, first you put in your newspaper and put that around like that. And um, then you put in some sand. That stops, um, that stops um, the worms drowning. I think it's overfilled with water. Um, and now we need to put in some compost. I think we put in compost. And So that will be like the house for the worms, like a house full of worms. So now we put in our worms. You need quite a lot of worms and the things what worm um the most the good thing about having a worm farm is that um it produces more worms and it's really good for the garden um the um their poo and wheat is basically like fertilizer so it's really good for the garden so yep oh, there's a one escape worm. <laughs> and then we put in some more compost. I think we might need all of this. Um, so now we're going to do use a blood and bone, which is actually fertilizer. Oh, I've used all. Um, now we need to use. Um, now we're going to put the food in, so nice nutrition for the worms. To eat oh. fruit and veggies and things like that. Put this around. Oh, it's, it's horrible. So I have some apple. Um, we've got apple, carrot, lettuce, um, cabbage toast and pear in it and now we're going to put it, sprinkle in some rolled oats. Okay, that's a lot of rolled oats. Okay, now it's time to say goodbye to the worms for now. And so we put it in here. Time to say goodbye to the worms, and we're going to put this. Um, so this is where the juice is going to be, and now we're going to put this 
Say goodbye to the worms for now and push in that place.